<laughs> Robin. So we got yep. the Fox News Channel thing. Now, we do. We went off on the Grease Man where he went on TV and just made fun of us. Not made fun of us, but just killed us, even though he had his own controversy doing mm -hmm. his radio show. I'll say. So we're going to just play the clip of him, but then we found the whole piece that Fox News Channel did on us when we uh, screwed up when we were on regular radio, and I think it's kind of fun to do. We haven't done this one yet. Right. We like to go down this road from time to time. So without further ado, let's get into the tape, okay? Mm -hmm. This was on Fox News Channel uh, right around the time we were getting fired or were fired. And then they dug up old clips of us from an old interview with Bill O'Reilly and and re-edited it and all that shit. There, there's going to be some fun to be had uh, during this this piece of uh, audio. Our top story tonight. Syndicated radio shock jocks Opie and Anthony have been kicked off the air. Yeah. Fired over this sex stunt they pulled inside St. Patrick's Cathedral. Last week, the duo broadcast an eyewitness account of a couple having sex inside the church. And yesterday, they were officially canned. Bill O'Reilly interviewed the pair recently, and they insisted they're careful to never cross the line. Right. Ah, Here is that. Shut up. What an asshole. Who's right? Editorializing douche. Yeah. Right. Yeah, way, way to be, uh... Right. Way to be unbiased. Yeah. Oh, good. Line. Right. Here is that never-before-seen interview. Mm -hmm. The people you work for, the big operation, the big radio operation, do they care what you say on oh, the air? Oh, without a doubt. We have do every day. We have guidelines. Uh, we have FCC, you know, rules we got to uh, adhere to, and we do a very good job at that. Well, you skirt, Our show is, you skirt it. You're smart. Yes, yeah, we're, you skirt we're very smart. We know where the line is, and we, we tiptoe on the line, of course. We know at this point what our audience likes. We know how to do it, and that's what we give them. Well, what do they like? What do they want? They like to be entertained and, and traffic. They like, they like to be specific, though. You they just like said, to, wait, they wait, like, wait, wait, wait. You just said, mm -hmm. we know what our audience likes oh, and we give it to them. I want mm -hmm. specific. What is trying to? He's trying to, like, rope you. Here's where he tries to trick you. Stop it. Know what our audience likes and we give it to them. I want mm -hmm. specifically what they like. Okay, you know what men like? No. No, I'm <laughs> talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Throw it right back in his face. Yeah, I like it. You know it. what men like, Bill? Men like talking about things like fucking and sports <laughs> and loofah sponges and jerking off with a producer on the phone. <laughs> right, they <that's>... love doing <laughs> that. Right. That's why this is so much fun to listen to after the fact. My cock is so big, I want to rub yeah. it like a loofah sponge all over your face. <laughs> yeah, way to, way to get him, fella. About, talk about sex, talk about sports, talk about entertainment, hanging with their friends, talk uh, about TV sex. shows, talk about sex. No, sex is number sex. one. There's sex in there, sure. I, I, we wouldn't consider sex number one on our show. No really? way. No way. Every time the I media, turn in... The media likes to... to well, wait a to, minute. To, to Every time I turn into your program... Mm -hmm. There's there's a babe taken off her top, mm -hmm. or there's a discussion of uh, lesbians. So listen every day, Bill. Uh, you see, you see what I mean? <laughs> what <a> humorless <laughs> jack off? He is an. You see, you see what I mean? Yeah, you six foot eight jerk off. We understand what you mean. It was a it was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking tool. <laughs> This just enrages Go me. allegedly have phone sex with your... Uh, oh, my, my cock your is so big. Cohorts. Oh, yeah. Is it really? A loofah sponge, you cornball. A butt plug. But we're bad news, Did right, Did you say Phil? butt plug? Uh, there was supposed to be a butt plug involved. Oh, how great is that? Yes, yeah, great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Every time I tune in, there's a sexual theme. I'm not hearing the ball scores. If you took sex out of the Opie and Anthony show, you had a lot of dead air, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> There's still drugs in rock and roll. What a dick. You know what I mean? A lot of dead air, you know what I mean? No, we don't. Yeah. We fill it up. We fill it up without any sex. We go, sometimes we go weeks without doing anything. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm talking about on the air, not off the air. No, on the air. <laughs> it goes in stages, and we'll even check ourselves. And, we, and I'll go to Ann, you know, Ann, we're getting a little too, you know, too much sex on the show lately. Let's let's back off, and then we'll... This is easy. We'll, sex is easy. We'll, you know it is. If you, you, cannot be, you cannot be successful in this business just doing sex every day. So, should the shock jocks have been fired for their latest stunt? Joining us now are Bob P. This is where it gets good with the Grease Man. Oh, here they go. This is the Grease Man and some other expert that they found.
latest stunt. Joining us now are Bob Peters. Bob's the president of Morality in Media. Uh. And in Washington, Doug Track. He's a radio uh, talk uh. show host. He's known as the Grease Man. Yeah, wow. right, the Grease Man. <laughs> what, it take him five minutes to find experts? Jesus. Uh. The Grease Man is going to be the radio expert. The guy that fucked up worse than anyone in radio. Host. He's known as the Grease Man. Uh, well, Mr. Peters, why don't you react to the decision to fire these guys? Well, I think it's great uh, in two respects. I think they merited being fired. They should have been fired a long time ago. But, uh, you know, I, I, I regard myself as a political conservative, and I say, you know, one of the best ways to, you know, it, reduce the size of government is to reduce the need for it. And corporations, uh -huh. even after a long delay, do the right thing, there's less need for government. So I'm glad Infinity Broadcasting, for once, has done the right thing. Mr. Track, you've been in, oh caught in situations Here where you've go. actually lost your job because of some things that you've said on the air. How do you feel about this decision that affecting is. these two guys? Well, when you think about it, with some of the stuff that's gone on in churches already, maybe they should be looking on the bright side. At least the people in there were of age uh, and heterosexual. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> the pencil is in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> of age and heterosexual. The yeah. fucking grease man. I'm making funnies here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, go back to the grease man. About this decision affecting these two guys. Well, when you think about it, with some of the stuff that's gone on in churches already, maybe they should be looking on the bright side. At least the people in there were of age uh, and heterosexual. I yeah. uh, wish they'd fire some of the police to get caught in having sex in church as fast as they fire these guys. But yeah. when you hire a some show of them like may that, end up, Some of them may end up in jail, the priests. Well, well, let's hope so. That'd be a great thing. Uh, when you hire a show yeah. like this that's more based on stunts, pranks, going over the edge, this is the kind of thing that you have to watch out for. I try to do a show that I, uh, I paint pictures, I use the language, I do words. But if you have a show words. that's going to be, uh, can you top this with the nearest uh, you know, naked man jumps into hot chocolate, uh, uh, somebody amputates testicles of a pig on the air for entertainment value, you have to keep going to the next level and the next level and the next level. And I think these guys were doing what they were paid to do. It's like a wife that cooks and cleans and does everything for you. She breaks wind in bed one night, boom, she's out of there. The marriage is over. I think these guys were doing what they got paid to do, and companies that hire this kind of show have to deal with the uh, the burning remnants of the air. Remnants. Well, Peter, that, he, he <laughs> <laughs> the burning remnants. Remnant. You know, uh, you could actually commit someone with audio like that. <laughs> with, against his will, you could have him committed to a mental institution. If she breaks wind in bed. <laughs> in bed. Uh, breaks wind. Uh, by the, by the way, the guy had no idea what kind of show we did. No. He had no clue. Read a few headlines and just assumed that's what our show was all about all the time. Oh, what, what a, a buffoon. What a dope. Burning the remnants of the aftermath. Well, Mr. Peters, he, he makes, in some sense, a good point, which he says is that the management told him to do it. Of course, if the management told me to do that kind of stuff, I wouldn't do it. But yeah, does that sure. then mean that the management itself ought to be held accountable, that perhaps their license suspended, their license revoked? How do you feel about that? Well, I tell you, I mean, my concern about a revocation is that the FCC simply has not been doing its job in terms of upholding the public interest standard for broadcasters. And then all of a sudden, literally probably out of decades of doing, taking no strong action, suddenly they're going to try to revoke a license. I mean, had the FCC been doing its job all along, in my opinion, this would have never happened. But even if it had happened in such a circumstance, the FCC would have been well within its rights, in my opinion, to pull the license. Uh, uh, Mr. Track, these guys oh, had a three-year, oh, no. $30 million deal that they signed in June 2001. Where's now, my cut? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Where's what, what, my cut? What? what? Wow. <laughs> it wasn't that high. Relax, Relax, Thirty million. Relax, Rich. <laughs> Where's my... F it's only half that. I should <laughs> get $15 million. <laughs> Three-year, $30 million, people. Million? That's it. Yeah, it's, I, Supposedly we were splitting ten million a year. Yeah, There's ten more, mil. Just more lies that the media That's just great. spews out. You guys wouldn't settle for that lowly, paltry sum Don't dollar that. deal that they signed in June two thousand and one. Now these guys had been in Boston. I I understand they were in Boston. Uh, I've been told that they were fired because on um, wow. April Fool's Day they went on and said that the mayor had been shot and killed and they <laughs> lost their jobs. Then they come. Wait, I never heard that. Shot, shot and, and killed. killed. This is Fox News Channel. This guy is a dolt. Just reporting the facts wrong. Shot and killed. Shot and killed. Was he just re reporting Menino was shot and killed? He should be fired.
It was a car, it was a car accident. Right. Shot and killed. Stop it. Why is this guy allowed to broadcast? And we said that there was a prostitute in the car. Like, the whole story got ridiculous. They never report on that. Right, that it was obviously a, a fake news story. It was story. a fake news story because he was driving and there was a prostitute, a, male, a, a young male prostitute, I think, in the car know, with him. Something. It, the story just got more and more ridiculous yeah. as the afternoon went on. But now it's uh, been reduced to that we, we told everyone that the mayor was shot and killed. Yeah. You're on Fox News. Where's the responsibility? Because on um, April Fool's Day, they went on and said that the mayor had been shot and killed and they lost their jobs. Then they come to New York and they sign a deal for, for $30 million. Is it likely that, uh, you know, after this, they're going to go somewhere else and sign a bigger deal? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's great. <laughs> Should we answer that question? <laughs> <laughs> We well, turned out just fine. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> to answer your question, sir. Uh -huh. Let's face it. What they did was uh, probably in bad taste. And every now and then, you can make a mistake on the air. Lord knows, I live in a glass house myself. The deal is, I don't think they'll come back with a major company right away because major companies are afraid of protests and people wandering around and uh, shareholders getting nervous and stock prices going up and down. But I think in time, if they've learned uh, from this uh, brutal acid test of what works and what doesn't work, they can find a, a local station with a with an owner with some guts and, and probably resurface back to where they were. A local yeah, station? Yeah, we were, we were going to do that, Grease Man. But he actually wasn't that far off as far as a major company being so panic-stricken with the yeah. worry about the protests. Yeah. And I remember somebody else had a local station suggestion. You guys got to move out to Seattle and start in a small market. <sighs> no. It was, it was all or nothing. It was either satellite radio. Yeah, we weren't radio. going back to a small market. It was either satellite radio or a very, very, very big market. I, or I was or just going to take my retirement. 15 million and leave. Yeah. <laughs> I would have given you 15 million, but I forgot to put the paperwork through. Oh. And by the way, major radio companies uh, gave us a call immediately. We were under contract with the stupid Infinity. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't take a job. We were offered jobs. We just couldn't take it. Mr. Peters, what impact do you think this kind of radio has on young people? Well, I, I'm a media watcher, and uh, I, I don't know how many times over the last several years I've seen articles specifically on the decline of civility in the United States in public life, affecting people of all ages. And uh, I don't say that I've never read an article where the impact of media hasn't been mentioned, but it would be the exception. I think most people attribute at least to some extent a decline in civility in public life affecting people of all ages. Now, if it can affect some of us adults... And yet it's popular, isn't what? it? It's well, hard to understand. Well, you know, I say I live in New York City, yes. and, and uh, you know, Howard Stern, to my knowledge, is the most quote-unquote popular radio talk show host in New York City. But, you know, out of the people who are listening to radio in the New York City metro area, it's about 7%. 93% of radio listeners don't watch Howard Stern, listen to him, and I don't listen to radio, so I don't even count. Mr. Track, very quickly, I want to give you the, the last word here. <laughs> oh, uh, does this More affect young man. people yeah. negatively? Um, do you, uh, why is it so popular? I don't think it affects young people negatively. I think uh, negative young people are attracted to this. I think uh, nowadays you have people uh, on the air who uh, really necessarily can't create magic. So they destroy, they break things up. And I think there's enough disenfranchised people. If you look at some of the music videos, some of the, some of the junk that's out there where people are throwing up and breaking things and smashing and, uh, and dying in wrecks and dismembering themselves, I, I don't think this affects people. I think it just draws the already offbeat crowd uh, well, into a, uh, crowd a house day. of pain. Did I want to thank you for day? both he of you gentlemen for being day. with us. This may be the beginning of a, of a significant change on the radio. We'll have to see. And it was, by yeah, the way. It kind of was. kind of was. That's about was. three years ago. That started the whole ball rolling. Yeah. And that was Greaseman's big uh, moment in the sun. And, and then, bye-bye. Then, then he went back to his tiny, tiny little radio station in the middle of nowhere. Proud. To try to rebuild his uh, radio career. Yeah, but he wasn't and really. And he's still trying. He wasn't really trashing you guys, though. He could he, go fuck himself. I don't and, like him either myself. He had no idea what Man. we were about and what our show was about. You know, why don't you stop, Rich? Side it's with the great Greece that men. they have those people come on and comment on stuff they really don't know anything about.
They just grabbed grabbed the grease man. He had his uh, big moment in the sun. He thought it would lead to some bigger things for him. Nah, he's yeah. still broadcasting to a tiny little station. In no the wonder of the they suburbs, drag them behind trucks here. Where he has to sell his own advertisement for his radio show. Let's yeah. hear what Voss Manelli has to say. That was uh, obviously you were a big grease man fan. No, no, I never heard the guy in my life, uh, you know, but when he said it attracts, <laughs> you know, uh, negative type uh, listeners and, and stuff, you know, uh, I don't think he was attacking. I think the other guy was was the real, uh, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, of course we No. Don't. No, we don't, Rich. <laughs> Silly goose. Sometimes I don't articulate like I, I, I like to. Yes. It attracts negative people. There are people that are completely normal that love yeah, of this course. type of radio. That's right. That's a couple That's of stupid, stupid church going stupid comment. Lad that decides he's going to kill his family. Was it the uh, church? That's a good good thing that he goes to. Wholesome. And uh, he's killing people, things Ooh. like that. Uh, I can't remember his name, but it was you know raised in a nice family, things like uh, things like that. No evil, no evil like these radio shows influencing them. And uh, bad people are just bad people. Okay, it's not what they listen. I always to. say good people do good and bad people do bad. That's what I always say. That's a good thing to say, Jimmy. I say it a lot. And I right. say it obsessively. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, bitch, rob, rob, bitch, bitch, rob, bitch, 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 bitch